Let us continue playing. Motorsport Manager, the Dragon Race Team China are still somehow, somehow, first and first, two thirds of the way through the season. It's been a tricky one. Balcazar has had two DNFs on the bounce. And that has really compromised her position at the top. In fact, it's amazing she hasn't lost it beforehand. But I just do not see her keeping that unless we can somehow pull off a win here. Vancouver has been traditionally very, very good for us. It all depends on whether or not it rains. And in honesty, we'd prefer to see rain on the race stat there. But it's not, so we're going to have to guess it might not. Fuel and tire burn is high here. We're just going to have to go with things. So. Uh, we're going to reject the interview here. Podium. Barnaby White gets a morale boost. It was a really hard fought battle for second here. We get a performance upgrade which we'll be focusing on. And we can now go for another part. Well suspensions are really really good for um, Vancouver. They're only going to be useful for one more race here. And engines are going to be useful for all of the last three. So I'm thinking here, at this final thing, even though we could go for this upgrade, I think it's time we go for our last engine upgrade. So let's go for... And unfortunately, I've got nothing good here at this first one. So I'll just take a 15 reliability boost. And we will take this as well. So it gives us a 60 off the bat. It's not... Bad. Oh, double risk increase and not much else. So we can't build it. The third engine is not really going to be too helpful. But this is about as high as we can take this without going cheating. So that is what we do. I mean, if I was going on to another season, this that'd be a great little set to have. If this was if this was last season, having a plus seventy twice there would have been amazing for engine focus. But Oh well, how much can we do? We're top of the grid for rear, and we're basically top of the grid for acceleration as well, which has been, which has been good for us. Car repair complete, and let's go and work on some improvements. So, might as well grab the engine upgrades here, or at least an engine upgrade in reliability, just to get that maxed out and safe. Get the front wing as well. Those 2% may not be matter a great deal in the long run, but we're going to add it anyway. So is it rear wing, suspension, and top engine here are the three main ones. So we need to therefore get the engines up to spec as well as it can go. So let's let's start focusing. As much as we can here. Front wing's actually not that relevant here, are they? So we'll just do that. Uh, obviously, we have a new, yeah, new suspension part. Actually, we've got a light wrist behind it. Did I accidentally go for a wrist break, rule breaking one? Oh, that's not good. Hold on, what is it? Alright, well, I've kind of wasted my time there with that then, because that's not even an improved part in terms of stats. Not that the next season matters much anyway, but alright, we'll leave it as is. Uh, two suspension performance increases, that and that, and we're going to go for... Yeah, let's go for that. 11.19. And continue. Obviously, we've got some new sponsors coming in as well, so that should hopefully get us some money. Vancouver, wind tunnel complaints. Okay, let's just see where we are with things then. So, excellent. We have a couple of hundreds. Let's then just push that a little bit over that way. Get these stat increases up as much as we can. 99% for both engines. So, yeah, just go 30 there. I guess the only thing we might want to just quickly throw is that, but that'll happen anyway. And pick our sponsors. So, we have three star sponsors again, and that's awesome. We're probably not going to win any more races until the end of the season. We've already done America, so let's just go take Renault as a sponsor. Nothing else will have a good last sponsor. 
And here, that's not bad. Half a million, flat half a million per race. Up front half a million. That is perfectly, that is almost exactly what we want. Long contract as well. Although really that's to end. I can't remember what we had there, but I don't think it was that good. Don't think it was that good. All right. Go through all of these. 40% uh, chance of rain. We are banking on that rain. Maybe we should. That's um, It's one of my slight regrets is that we never bothered getting that forecasting center. Six million. Could have possibly saved us so much hag, so much hassle. So much hassle. All right, we still got the eighth best headquarters on the grid because I think we're the only people who built a helipad. Which would be awesome if we get that far, but you know. Oh, what upgrades could we actually afford? None, none really until the end of the season, which is kind of how this goes. We'd have to grind this to the end of the season anyway. If nothing else, we're going to have a lot of money come end of season. So, reliability work is done. Let's continue. And aim for six and above. Seems like a good pick here. So, obviously, tire wear is high here. Dual burn is high. We have to do 29 laps. Therefore, Barnaby White is going to go for an alternate strategy. However, Balcazar is still going to fix on the ultra soft plan here. Again, I've gone 8-6 rather than this, and I've gone the opposite way with white, because I'm, maybe that's maybe that's a bit too extreme. We'll go down to that. There you go, swap around. Because we got the white ability to just have the super soft um, burn slower, so that's definitely a consideration. I think part-wise is exactly the same as last time. Balcazar is still technically the better driver. I have basically no way to prove this over the last few races, but still, technically she is the better driver. So we'll stick with that. Give her all the best parts, and let's go for what is possibly the site of glory, and possibly, possibly, possibly the site where we finally lose those twin top of the table rankings here. Ferrari are catching up now. They're not too far behind anymore. But if Ferrari beat us, that means the other teams are beating us by less and it gives us more chance of grinding out the result. So, so we shall see. Practice to begin. My report is fine. Send you two out. So Barnaby White, we will send you out on the soft, super soft tire here. Because we're mostly going to be taking race trim anyway. Um, so I might as well have you working on this. And my Vancouver setup is... There we are. 75, 25, 22, 8. Minus 1.6. 50 and 69. Which I'm going to also click up to 81 for the test of this, but hey, that's what I've got written down for Vancouver. Actually, I've got a different number written down for Vancouver. I've just noticed I've got two settings for Vancouver. Hold on. That wasn't what I wanted to check. 22.8. I guess that's the alternate Vancouver. If not, well, we'll find out in a due course anyway. But, continue. And then, Balcazar. Seventeen five, twenty seven five, twenty two eight minus one point six, fifty ninety four, and ultra soft. Okay, take practice. So yeah, we split the strategies up a little bit here. Um, race trim is fine. We need that race trim fifty percent if nothing else. So let's get going. And it'd be interesting to see how much slower white is than Balcazar on same tactics but different tyres. Circuit has been so good to us in the past though. So good. And if it is going to be raining, I think being on the super soft tyres is going to benefit white a lot. Because I mean he can go longer on his stint and be more has more chance of being 
in the optimal position when the rain happens. I mean, if it happens before the stint ends, well, that's going to happen for everybody. But if it happens at the end of a stint or at a point midway through the second stint and even make it go that far, well, then we've got some interesting stuff happening. He's about six tenths down at the moment, although he, is got some, he has got some traffic in front of him. So, soft tyres is at a second slower based on that. Error's feeling good. Malcolm's out another fastest sector. Why has still got too fast sector? I suppose Piergate is on the so lower tyre here, which is why the gap, the difference is there, really, but it's still kind of impressing at the moment. So we can also see that um, White is better at turning his tyres on and giving us setting its support, so... So that's that there. We've got race up to level 2 now. At the 6 minute mark. That means we can send them in and go for some quality laps in a moment. Going to push high for Balcazar for the moment. Just get around a little bit faster. In fact, we might pit Balcazar here. Except the Ultrasofts haven't hit level 1 yet, so... Okay, one more then. So we're in lap anyway, so... Doesn't mean I can swap them over, but probably means I'm going to actually... I don't know. So Balcazar out on race stint will definitely get that far. We might be able to luck out and get some quali stints. Oh, okay. We've already got pretty much perfect setup. So, huzzah. My notes are good. 97. Let's go one click towards top speed. Keep you on race trim. Send you out on a new set of the super softs. Okay, so yours isn't as good, and this is a problem. So downforce isn't correct. Let's actually try lowering that downforce. Um, click the handling into place again. Click towards acceleration, maybe? Or click towards top speed? Well, we're going to click towards top speed. And in your case, we're going to do qualifying qualifying stints on the same tyre, but we're bringing you straight back in. Because we need to get your setup good. And we might not have very long to do this. So that's race free. In fact, on that basis, we might even be bringing Balcazar in as well. Try and get whatever benefit we can for the qualifying. Although, I don't know. Alright, Balcazar, you can come in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've got ideal setup for Balcazar. This is an encouraging thing. 99%. A slight tweak. Qualifying trim. And I guess stay on the same tyres. She won't have time to do a lap, and I unfortunately did not bring White in. Oh, we have to hope that setup is good, or he's going to have to use the old one. He's happy with the aero, good. Alright, so now it's just a case of what can we get qualifying to. Qualifying 2 seems unlikely. Super Soft 3 seems, e seems unlikely as well. Yeah, okay, that's that down. Well, Malkazar ends up fastest in practice, but I don't think anybody else went on the Ultra Softs for very long at other competitive runners. Well, we'll just have to see. I worry, Super Soft is definitely the tyre focus for this weekend. Okay. So I guess we'll take both the... <laughs> yeah, on the odd chance we decide to, you know, go on those tyres, we'll do that. So car setup, oh wow, we hit 299s. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get. Depressingly, I still don't think this is going to be very good for us. 
Simulate possession. Come on, Balcazar. Balcazar was held up in traffic there. Eighth and eleventh. Okay, that's okay. Eighth and eleventh is about what we would expect to be, so. White comes out first. We'll hope for some improvements. Balcazar improving on all three stints, but didn't improve the time. Stays eighth. Splitting the two cars there. So that wasn't too bad. Now, though. Now, though, it's the business end. So we're going to go race and super soft, and we're going to go race and super soft. Or rather, race and super soft endurance. But we are definitely giving the bonus to um, Balcazar for later in the race, just in case that becomes relevant. Now, we don't know even if there is going to be any. That is the one thing to consider here. However, we do know that these can go 14 laps. Basically, White can one-stop these on the super soft tyre. So that is his plan for the moment. Balcazar can last 10 laps. So that would be a two-stop. Or we could go soft. We can go ultra onto soft. Which might be the preferred strategy, even though it's going to really slow us down. It's going to be interesting, this one, because we need to make this work. And Balcazar does need to attack at the start. We're going to attack with Barnaby White as well. Our parts are as maxed out as they can be, pretty much, for this, so... Let's just see. We could do a good start from both drivers if we could do this here. So, Balcazar, off we go. We're keeping an eye on the weather, as always. And it's a reasonable start. Up into 7th position off the start. Up into 6th on the outside. Great move by Balcazar behind. Rodriguez and Becker. The two Steinman cars. We're at, we have Surikov in the lead, which is a problem, potentially, for the terms of championship points. But there comes White into 8th. So, we're now... Solidly in the points and around and through the middle there and on the inside. So, okay, Balcazar up into fourth place. Challenging for third under breaking. Not able to make that stick. Now has Rodriguez for company. And we're going to, of course, stay attacking for this first lap. So we'll keep that as is. In on the inside comes Rodriguez. We knew that was going to be tricky. And start of lap one. In comes Piaget. Not able to make the advance. White, though, is looking threatening there and staying in eighth. Becker is, of course, the second person in the championship, so that is something to consider. And now that we've done that, let's go to neutral high and neutral high. White's doing amazingly well, given that he's on the slower tyre here, and in fact, he's going to jump into sixth. Or was going to jump into sixth, but has actually just... I suppose put some pressure off of Balcazar is what she's done with that. What he's done with that, sorry. And unfortunately, the weather is getting drier. 3.1 seconds off the lead at lap 3 is not bad at all. Staying on the high attack fuel load for the moment because... In many ways, they don't look too comfortable at the front. Has to be said. They're not looking comfortable. So... Let's just stick with this for the moment. Balcazar then, still 5th. 4.9 behind the leader, who is Surikov. And Surikov is not the fastest of the drivers. We know they're the third team, really, in terms of pace. White has dropped to ninth. I think White can actually go dual conserve for the moment. We'll keep Balcazar on the attack. At least for the time being. Because she's quite easy on the dual, so she can make this up. In fact, let's go. Let's push the overtake push button for a bit. Let's get ourselves a little closer if we can. Six seconds. Valdez locks up. I don't want to attack for long, but I want to just see if we can make any inroads into fourth. Five point eight. Well, we're in the window, but we're not there. So let's go back to neutral high here. And Sharp is the one with the most grip out of the front runners. He's the probable threat. White has dropped behind the medium runners now. On lap 6. And yeah, Balcazar actually in attack range right now. We'll switch down the mediums. We'll try and cool off and earn some fuel back. We're a lap down on fuel. But doing okay. 
Doing okay. Let's start actually conserving now. We don't want to conserve with white just yet, because I don't think white needs to. Where is this weather coming in? It's not currently. 40% chance of rain. He got locked up as well, so he's really he's really struggling on those tyres. Mind you, so is Rodriguez in front of us. 7.3 is the gap to Balcazar. White in ninth place, doing okay. Here's the last halfway point, and should do that actually. His tyres aren't even six, aren't even 40% down yet, basically. So much more grip. In fact, we might even start pushing now. Let's go push high with white and see if we can't. Warm our tyres up a bit for one, but also just stay in range. Rodriguez. Oh, we're past Rodriguez. He's he's absolutely destroyed himself doing that. This might be pit lap now, because we are only nine laps in. That's the only downside we're doing this now. Alright, well, conserve and keep going. Try and do one more lap, and in fact, we're going to go on the overtake button for this. So overtake neutral, pit Balcazar at the end of this lap. 19 to go. Do we go soft and run? If we go soft and run, that pretty much determines that we aren't expecting rain. But we might need it come the end, because even though we are easy on the tyres... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. If we're on soft tyres, we're going to be so slow. So slow. If we go on ultras again, we definitely have to stop again. For another set of ultras, admittingly, but we would definitely have to stop again. How much time can we make up going to stop ultra, ultra, ultra? To always be our fastest, but... But be on that limit. Will we make up a pit stop? If it was about a second slower, one tyre down, it's reasonable to assume it's going to be about a second and a half to two seconds to the next tyre difference. Over 20 laps, that is a pit stop. It's fuzzy math, I know, but that's what I'm calculating now. We are going to gamble this one, like we always do, have three stops, and we're going to go for this. So White now up into fifth position, and with tyres that will definitely make it, for a considerable amount of time, it has to be said. So if we go over to neutral... You see, on, keep White on neutral high for the moment. He's right behind Lippinen, whose tyres are pretty destroyed, it has to be said. Malcazar then 11.9 off the lead, and there's the two leaders coming into the pits. We are going to follow. Let's go low fuel. Do a little conserving while we're in here. Oh, wait, wrong driver. That's the wrong driver. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's do a little conserving while we're here, because Balcazar is a little dodgy on that. So, they've come out in front, annoyingly, but we'll see what we can do about this. However, Balcazar has jumped a position or two from that little stint there. He is now on fresh ultra soft and cannot afford to lose this position. So, push high here. Darn it, lost a position. We need that back. We will need that back. We need to be fast here. We can't afford to be held up behind a slow, a Ferrari on slows tyres. In fact, uh, this is worth an overtake. We've got to be on this now, because otherwise we are going to be destroyed. Come on, Balcazar. Come on, Balcazar. Okay, done it. <laughs> that was... That was potentially crucial. That was potentially crucial. We're also going to give you the allow teammate through signal now, even though I think you might be okay for a little bit. Which is the where this is going to happen. And yeah, now Balcazar can go medium. Or maybe we hit white now and just don't let this happen. Get it, don't let him get in the way. But it's too, it's too early. In fact... White now is starting to look a bit dodgy for his soft, soft plan. Unless we can make this work a lot harder. We push hard with this, in fairness. So it's at medium. Balcazar's a lap lower on fuel. Gonna let Chico through, please do. Chico, go through. Chico, go through. Oh, fuck. We had the opportunity there. 
had the opportunity to slow that car up. Yeah, now your tyres are greening. Uh, it looks like Balcazar is just about holding on there, but this is not going well for our strategy. I do not want Balcazar fighting for this. White, though, in an interesting position to make a counter-attack, and that's definitely worth another lap. But this is his in-lap now, so let's pit White at the end of this lap for a new set of the Super Soft Tires. Fast pit stop. And if he can slow up... Yeah, if he can slow up Sylvander while he's at it, all the better. He can serve low for the moment. Yeah, let's really get in his way. Okay, so how are we doing? I think we're already at the point where Balcazar needs to start conserving a bit. Meanwhile, weather. If it's gonna be if it's gonna be rain, it's gonna be at the end. So. Good stop. Okay, let's go medium, medium, and get us out of there. Okay, we lost a position to Fox, but we're in, we're on tires that are good. And I think same thing for you, really. You need to, you need to not allow this to happen. Overtake push. If you can, we need to stay ahead of Becker. I mean, in fairness, I think Becker's gonna have to stop again. But yeah, there we go. That's fine. High, we can now go high neutral this and conserve. See, we've pulled a lot of a, a lot of get distance here. We're in third and fifth because White has now got past Piergate as well on the much better tyres. So, so White is in a monstrous position right now. And Balcazar has to do two more laps. Okay, so let's go medium, medium here. Start conserving some fuel. So White begins lap 17. Sylvander behind by 5.6 seconds, which is fine, potentially. His tyres will be a lot slower than ours at the end of the next stint, after all, so... Problem is, we thought we'd be faster. I've got to be honest, I thought we'd be faster than this. The track is getting darker, but there's no rain on the horizon. That would be the... This is the ideal point for us to have rain, it has to be said. How is White doing in comparison to those around him? Keeping a four second gap to Rodriguez, who is on the slower tyre, but will have more grip towards the end. Although in theory, maybe he won't, because of course our tyres will last. And we're not planning on doing any more pushing with White, so he can go very conserving if he needs to. Right, window. Alright, here we go then. Balcazar pits here for new ultras. Fast stop. Hope it works, because this is what we based our race on here. White's in a good recovery position here, but only really lose points to the Red Bulls, I'd guess, from this position. Especially if we can stay ahead of um, Rodriguez. Rodriguez is closing the gap up a bit, but I think we can have we got this in hand, especially as we now hit the point where we can attack with Vuel again. Balcazar in the pits, then. Let's go low view while we're in there because, of course, we need to maximize our advantage. Mistake on the tires. This is going to cost us. Right, so from here, Balcazar has to race. She's on much, much, much better tires. But if she gets held up, this is, a this is trouble. So let's go high. High neutral. And now we are racing for whatever we can grab. Points, championships, whatever happens here. Surikov is there. We really need to get past this. And in fact, because we need to get past this so much, we're going to go push overtake button. I really didn't want to have to push that. Alright, on the inside, good. Position one earned. 
Second position should be fine as well, but we might have to go neutral overtake here, and then we're going to have to be really cautious on fuel after this one. Yeah, I'm aware of how critical this is. <laughs> Alright, down the high. We're in position. Sharp and Sylvanda both pitted. Okay. Where's White in relation to things? Interestingly, Sylvanda has not pitted and White has just pulled a massive load of... Okay, no. Actually, okay, that's what confused me there. White's now in fourth. Malkazar are now behind Sylvanda. So both of those drivers pitting frees this battle up for us quite nicely. So we can now go medium... Medium, I think, for the rest of this. Question, I guess, is where's Sylvander going to end up when he pits? Because that's going to probably promote White to the podium. And we might need to swap driver positions at that point. Rodriguez may have to pit as well, but does he want to? There's going to be no weather. This is going to be it now. And now it's the case of judging how much fuel we got to play with. Sharp, fastest lap of the race on new Super Saucy. Those top two are done. We'd like Sharp to overtake Surikov, I think. But in the meantime, there is Sylvander on new tyres. That is a threat. And that is also going to probably annoy us. Because that is definitely going to impact on our podium chances now. It is lowering Rodriguez's score, though, if this continues. Is keeping us kind of in the hunt for this. 45% tyres. Let's go push high for the... Neutral high for White right now. He needs to build up a gap if he can. 3.4 is to get to Sylvander on Ultra Softs. Yeah, I don't think we're going to keep that behind us for very long. We're up into 4th and 5th now, though. If Sylvanda gets past, I think we're going to have to swap their positions around. But if White can grab this, this is more championship points for us, of course. But it feels like it's going to be a real task. Okay, double push. Two lap. So double push, then. He's got so much more grip than us. So much more. But White is... And has certainly been in the last few races a bit of a driving genius. And the tracks have just suited him better, I think, in all honesty. Obviously, it's a team championship we're interested in. We, Balcazar is might actually still be first at the end of this in a bizarre circumstance. But we need the team points, so we are going to keep the push up here. White now at the point, though, where he needs to conserve fuel again. Point two. I don't think you can get close enough, but let's go push you anyway. Barnaby White defending as we're about to enter the final lap. White in third. Sylvana on much newer tyres, much fresher tyres. Balcazar's tyres are gone, so she's not going to be able to make any inroads into this. It's now about whether White, with his slight conserve there, has done enough. We've got a push, we've got a burst of overtake fuel if we need it. Ah, he's going to be denied on the line. Barnaby White denied. Okay. Allow teammate through. Double slow. Now, yeah, White. That was a tricky one there. We could have possibly held that off. Oh, that's going to that's gonna sting later in the season. It's only one point, admittedly, but it is the Ferrari to be. Surikov did get the point, 10 points. I think we score nine, so their team did improve on us by did beat us by one, two, three points overall. But Steinman, who were closer, lost points. Ferrari are gaining a lot of points and are now probably joining us in this uh, little battle for the championship that we've got to somehow stay ahead of. So yeah, as as mentioned, um, Balcazar still top, fifty five points. Surikov, fifty one points. Becker, 49 points. Sharp, 46 points. And that's probably the more worrying ones. 
PK, map to 33. And here is the team standings then. So take your pick. Which one of these is going to beat us? Panther managing a race win. Certainly. Sure. Steinman being overly consistent and good. Sure, sure. Ferrari, the comeback kings. Definitely going to be outscoring us for the last four. But can we keep that gap down? Oh, this is stressful. Four to go. Singapore in 17 days. Now, Singapore is another one that's been good to us, but usually because other cars blow up, this is the first race of a season. Four to go. We could do with a wet race. We, we we just need a wet race. It's our best chance to win a one, and unfortunately it didn't happen in Canada. It won't happen in the finale. Come on, wet race. Wet race! I'm okay with this. A wet race next time, we stand a chance. Maybe not a great chance. It depends on how the weather is now. But if we can pick up another cup, if we can pick up another win. Championship is still on. Maybe. Somebody's gonna have to calculate how the hell we won this. Was I still not? I'm still not sure how Balcazar is top. Consistently at the top towards the start of the season, sure. But jeez. Oh well. Until next time.